All of my efforts to locate Fred's money have been a complete bust, where could he have hidden it? I don't think I will ever see that money, but honestly, a million dollars and he would rather keep it hidden forever? If I had a million dollars, I would leave this joke of a gang and live the life as a celebrity, I didn't think I had to do this, but I have no choice. To whom am I speaking to? Hi dad. Well well, after all this time, you finally decided to call your father, have you finally come to your senses and realize your mother and I were correct? I told you, trying to convert Fred to be straight was a waste of time. I haven't given up on that, I just, um, I was wondering if you could, um. Daphne, where did we go wrong? Your older sisters have successful high profile careers and yet, here you are, with your social media career. Why couldn't you have given Rung Ladderton a chance? Dad, he's in prison. Oh right, never mind then, what did you want then? I told you I can't get that crazed psychopathic monster incarcerated, he's too powerful. I was wondering if you could give me a small loan of a million dollars? Excuse me? You see, I uh, I want to live the life I used to live. Daphne, you've finally understood the importance of spending lots of money? Show off to the low-life peasants they call the working class. But I believe you've forgotten the deal we made. I told you when you were 18, if you left to be with that low-life Fred Jones, I would disown you. You're lucky I am even humoring this conversation. Daddy please, I hate it here so much. He's been a drunk psycho ever since Uncle Eddie died. Velma and Shaggy don't seem to care about him and his crimes. And what's worse, he's friends with those ugly gray aliens. Please daddy, help me. Please. Whoa, whoa, dry your tears, Daphne. There is no reason to cry. Oh, all right. I can't lend you a million dollars, but I can give you one thousand dollars. I hope it can help you leave that pathetic gang, and I expect you to use that money to make something of yourself. No more mystery solving or any of that, uh, TikTok nonsense. Oh, thank you, Dad. I promise, I will use the money responsibly. I hope you will. I'd like to buy one thousand dollars worth of scratch offs, please. Ah, uh, are you sure? Yup. If you insist. Dozens of tickets and I haven't won a single thing. I can't believe this. How do I explain this to my parents? Oh, I forgot this scratch off. Well, maybe I'll win something to buy some food. No, no way. I. I just won a million dollars. Holy shit. Oh my god. Jesus, Daphne. I can't hear my Fortnite over your screaming. What are you even yelling about? Kiss my taint for eyes. I just won a million fucking dollars. I'm taking my winnings and leaving this stupid gang. Oh hey Daphne, did you want to share this McDonald's? Fuck your McDonald's you future my 600 pound life contestant. I'm a freaking millionaire and I don't eat peasant food. Eat this. Daphne what the fuck? All of Shaggy's paycheck went into that McDonald's. Drop dead already you ugly quadrupedal mud. Go get hit by a car. Wow. Daphne if you don't shut the hell up it's concussion. Shut the fuck up. You What the fuck did you just call me? You heard me. I won a million dollars and it's not fake. Not a fake ticket that you and Vilma gave me. It's a real winning lottery ticket. This is for six years of hell you son of a bitch. It's a beautiful concussion time. <laughs> Bye you wanna be Sherlock Holmes losers. I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. Ugh, my head, what the hell was that about? Did she say she won a million dollars? It would seem so. Not sure where she got it from, since you don't have a bank account anymore. Well since she's gone, I can say this, I do have one, just at a different bank. Oh cool, but I'm sure I heard she wasn't coming back either. Fred? Yes, yes yes. We're freed of Daphne, no more annoying narcissistic pieces of worthless garbage, it's over, all over, call in the grounding council and their families, we're having a super ultra mega party. Oh hell yeah. Hello dad. Daphne. So listen, I may have used a bit of the money you gave me to buy some lottery tickets. I gave you that money to move out and find a better career, not to gamble. I know I know, but I wanted you to know I won a million dollars. Oh, you've won pocket money, well good job. 
Now that you have enough money to sustain you for years to come, are you going to use the money wisely? I know a good accountant who would be more than happy to assist you in investing, and we can find you a good college so you can finally have a career like your other sisters. Well actually, I was hoping to continue what I was originally doing, I could find a nice house and continue being a social media celebrity. And her. I'm making at least $100,000 from my career, and I don't even have to do anything. I just record myself and boom, the money comes flooding in. And you haven't used that supposed money to move out sooner because? I may be really bad with money, I wonder who I learned that from. Now now, there's no reason to point fingers, at least let me find you an accountant so all that money you have doesn't get spent in a fortnight. Oh alright. It's kind of quiet. A little too quiet. You spent $100 on the 12th. What did you buy that possibly warrants spending that much money? A Lego set. Uh-huh. Please notify me when you spend that much money. I'm sorry? It's okay, hon. I forget. Hello. Oh, hello, Fred Human. Is there something you need? You want me to come over? For what? Is that so? Well all right, allow me to finish up my taxes then I'll come over. What's going on? He invited me over for some tea. Fred. Fred invited you? Invited you to his house? Yes, that's very odd. I wonder what the occasion is for. Can I come? I don't see why not. Yay. So what's the special occasion Fred human? Oh, I just thought I would hang out with my friends. We haven't since I learned about your troll romance. So, uh, what's been up with you two? Anything exciting? Giovanni became a Fortnite streamer. I destroyed those noobs. Cool, cool. Fred, you're not looking so well. Are you sure everything's okay? Please don't tell the others, but ever since Daphne left the gang, it's been really boring around here. Daphne left? Two months ago to be exact. She won a million dollars in the lottery and left. She hasn't tried talking to any of us since then. And well, I kind of miss her. You do. you do. And this is going to be absolutely embarrassing to ask but, I feel like the only thing to fill in that void is to find another gang member just like her. So Alkiza. Hell no, I want someone like Daphne, not someone that's going to rob me blind then skip town, I was thinking of. Maeve. Me, well I believe you should ask Alkiza first, after all, they're basically the exact same person. I did ask her last week. I woke up this morning to all my valuable possessions missing. Darling I'm nothing like her, how could I possibly take her place? You do annoy me, you stole my bowling tournament money, and Giovanni told me you're demanding so you'll fit. He said what? Fred, Fred buddy, we made a promise to not speak of that. I don't know what I'm talking about when I'm drunk, ha <laughs> ha. Uh-huh, well, I think it would be a nice change of pace, I don't know how I'll feel about living with three others. What about me? Oh hon. You can be by yourself for a week or two, it's not like I'm leaving for good. Fred Human, do you have a spare room for Giovanni? Um, if he's really that upset about you moving in with us, I don't see why he can't stay with us too. I don't know if Daphne's room is big enough for both of you. Oh no no, I don't share beds. Well, there is a furnished basement he can stay in. That'll do, is that okay hon? Right, then I guess it's official. You're the newest member of the Scooby gang. Wonderful. And Fred? Yeah? If you ever give Giovanni or I a concussion time I will skin you alive with the dullest knife I have in my collection and form your freshly flayed skin into a fleshlight for public use at the nastiest and most promiscuous brothel this city has to offer, understand? And knowing you, you'll hold close to that promise, so yes, I understand. Oh wonderful, we'll move in as soon as we can. Come along Giovanni, let's go pack some things we will need. Bye, Fred. Millionaire Daphne Blake, to whom am I speaking to? Hey, Daphne. Ugh, you, what do you want? We were wondering if you were ever coming back. Ha, huh, come back. Why would I ever want to return home to a toxic household? I can't be seen living with the poor. Daphne cut it out. It's not the Scooby gang without danger prone Daphne. Well that doesn't sound like my problem, I put up with you assholes for 6 whole years, I could have spent those 6 years living in luxury with my rich family but no, 
I made the dumb decision of staying with you losers and it only ended up with Fred becoming a drunk, Shaggy and Scooby becoming food addicted slobs, and you becoming an arrogant smartass. As far as I know, I'm never coming back, so kiss my rich ass, go find some other person to be your gang member. We already did, more or less, Fred did. Excuse me? He tried Alkiza first but she robbed us and disappeared, and now he's replacing you with Maeve and apparently Giovanni might tag along. Well I'm glad to know he had no problem replacing me. He didn't replace you Daphne, he filled the void, believe it or not, he actually misses you. Probably misses giving me a concussion time and smashing my stuff. Well the only way I'm returning is if something happens that will require me to come crawling back to you assholes, so kiss my taint. Well, I don't think she's coming back. It's unfortunate, but no worries. I can try to be the best Daphne I can be. I don't think you have to try to be exactly like her Maeve, if anything, Alcuso was a literal copy of Daphne, but you know, she kind of stole everything, I know, well, how about we go on a trip, perhaps I can convince the Fred human to take us out. That'll be nice, thanks. Hey.